went to use one of my hole saws the other day and noticed that the bit just fell out. But the set screw was only in about halfway, it looked like. And that's as far as it wanted to go. I was able to work this pick in through most of the threads and they seemed all right. So I blew them out and tried again. It still wouldn't go and I ended up snapping the bit. Just to make sure it wasn't the set screw, I pulled it out of the big arbor and it fit perfectly in my small one. Thread size ended up being 5 16 24. The closest tap size I have is 5 16 18 coarse thread. I looked through one of my bolt collection boxes and I actually do have a fine thread 5 16 bolt. And I checked it in my small arbor just to make sure it was right. So I'm going to see if I can modify it a little bit, see if it can chase those threads. Good idea to thread a nut on just to make sure there are no burrs. Yeah, I can see some tiny shaving, so it is doing something. Yeah, it's slowly getting down there. Okay, I've got it down to the full depth. It still has a bit of a tight spot, so I'm gonna work it with the impact a little bit. Okay, so now I can work it all the way down with my fingers and back it back out. So that's full depth engaging with the drill bit. That's tight, and I can back it all the way back out. So now I'll try it with a set screw. I have to admit, I'm kind of surprised, but it did actually work. Cutting the grooves definitely did something. My first try was with the standard bolt, even with oil, and I couldn't get it to go any further than with this S screw. Now, if you notice, there's a tiny bit of wear on some of these threads. There, one of them, I think, is a little bit worse than the others. That's what makes this kind of tricky. Like with a regular tap, the main concern is breaking the tap. It's going to cut. It's harder than the base material. But in this case, this is a grade A bolt, and I feel like it was about the same hardness as this arbor. So I had to be real easy on the bolt, uh, not push it too hard because I would deform the threads. And also when I was done and I broke through, I pulled this back out and I ran my original nut back over it just to make sure it would still go on there and to make sure that these threads were still good before I did the final pass. After trying it, I would say this process is better for cleaning or chasing threads, not really cutting or repairing threads because of the hardness being very similar to the base material. But if you were to just clean out the threads, this would work a lot better than a regular bolt because the debris has a place to go. Now, this probably were to work a lot better if I had tried to thread this into aluminum. I would say an actual tap would be a lot better, especially a bottoming tap or even a special thread chasing style tap would be better. But I think if you go very slowly, you can try this method. You're not going to hurt anything. Worst case, it doesn't work. You messed up a bolt and you can still get a tap and you can chase the threads and it'd be totally fine. But in this case, these threads are totally usable now. And it saved me from having to drive and go buy a tap that I haven't really needed any other time. If you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out the channel. Thanks.